Why is immunity important? Do you face frequent respiratory allergies like cold, cough, running nose, excess mucus production, sneezing and also face difficulties during seasonal infection? These are some of the symptoms of low immunity. So what happens if we don't treat it in a right way? Of course, there is a chance of it getting complicated in future. In this video, we will see natural ways to boost our immunity, especially during this kind of low symptoms. Hello everyone, welcome to Find Out. We all use variety of spices in our daily life to make variety of curries and dishes. So, today we are going to use the super ingredients which are found in our kitchen to boost our immunity. So, let us see how these spices do not only give taste, color and delicious effect to the food, it also acts as antimicrobial that is, it kills the germs and microbes if present in any of our vegetables. It is also a good preservative which doesn't spoil the food for a longer period of time. So, specific health benefits of the spices are like, it is an anti-inflammatory that it naturally reduces and prevents the infections and it also improves brain functions greatly. It is also a very good antioxidant. It improves digestion and metabolism, promotes weight loss in a healthy way that is it reduces only bad cholesterol without altering a good cholesterol levels. So don't we get the strong immunity by consuming our homemade delicious dishes and curries? Yes, for this we should definitely thank our grandparents for giving this wonderful combination with spices. Today we are going to talk about 4 wonderful spices. Firstly, turmeric. Its immune property is because of a compound called curcumin present in it. But curcumin is present in very little quantity. That is 3% of curcumin in 100% of turmeric. So how to get total effect of curcumin? Now comes black pepper which is known as king of spices. This wonderful spice Apart from its individual uses of antioxidant and anti-inflammatory, it enhances absorption of many vitamins like calcium, selenium and much more in our intestine. So this black pepper also helps in absorption of curcumin even though it is present in less quantity in the turmeric. By this, we get total effect of curcumin and black pepper. How to use this? 1 tablespoon of turmeric and 1 tablespoon of black pepper powder in 1 glass of warm water. You can add 1 tablespoon of honey to mask the strong effect. Honey do not only give taste but greatly keep helping reducing infections and also promote immunity. The third one is ginger which is a very familiar spice. How to use this? 2 coin sized ginger that has to be boiled in 1 by half glass of water. After 5 minutes, we get 1 glass of water. To this, you can add 1 tablespoon of lemon juice. Lemon juice will neutralize the excess heat of ginger but get equal benefits. You can also add 1 tablespoon of honey to it. Third one is cinnamon. Cinnamon also has a component cinnamaldehyde. It is great for relieving a lung congestion issues by clearing mucus and also helps in good air circulation. If you are someone who always have excess mucus due to allergies, you must definitely try this. How to use this? 1 tablespoon of cinnamon powder with 1 tablespoon of lemon juice and 1 tablespoon of honey in 1 glass of warm water. So, all this remedies told can be taken one glass daily either in the morning or in the evening that is before sleep. Generally you can continue it using for 15 to 20 days to get benefits. All the quantities of spice given here can be consumed by all type of individuals. It doesn't cause any over intake of spice into your body. One more point to remember is don't consume cinnamon in its natural form as there are chances of it causing throat irritation especially during allergies and worsen it. It is always best to use it as said it in the remedy. Along with this, proper hydration that is 3-4 litres of water every day 
doing 30 to 40 minutes of yoga or basic exercise, doing pranayama, avoiding excess alcohol and smoking, having healthy diet and lifestyle is equally important to boost your immunity. Even a standard health guidelines like World Health Organization suggest to practice organic and natural methods to boost immunity as a preventive measure of COVID infection and many more viral infections. This is all about today. Hope you all found helpful and interesting. If so, please hit the like button and subscribe to our channel and do not forget to hit the bell icon to get instant update about our videos. Thank you for watching.